Decision 2016, Donald Trump is lashing out again today at Republican leaders who have given up on his bid for the White House. He insists a big Trump turnout can overcome that and Hillary Clinton's lead in most polls. As a matter of fact, Steve Handelsman has the big news from both campaigns from Washington tonight. Steve. Hi, Devin. Thanks. In early voting, roughly a half a million Americans have already cast their ballots. And based on who is voting, Democrats and Republicans in key states, there's good news today for both these presidential candidates. Be sure to vote, Donald Trump told supporters today in Battleground, Florida. If you're not registered, get the hell out of here, okay? Leave right now and go and register. Because of Hurricane Matthew, the deadline's been extended a week in Florida. Early voting began today in Ohio, with mixed feedback already in from two other battlegrounds. Democratic turnout is strong in North Carolina, Republican turnout strong in Iowa. But trailing in most swing states polls, ignoring the impact of his lewd bragging in 2005, Trump slammed GOP leaders bailing out on him after the debate. You think that they'd say, great going, Don, let's go, let's beat this crook. A quarter of Republican office holders have abandoned Trump, reports USA Today. But for those running to do it now is risky. Democrats can argue that uh, either you're a flip-flopper uh, or you simply are, are trying to save your own skin. Hillary Clinton has a lead in national polling and less than a month to go. Let's focus on what's really important in this election and in your future and the future of our country. WikiLeaks of campaign emails confirm Clinton tailored policy positions to her presidential ambitions and focused on the email investigation. Donald Trump vowed again today if he wins, he will order a fresh investigation into Clinton and her emails. And he says an investigation of the investigation and the decision not to prosecute Clinton. From Washington, Steve Handelsman, Local 4. Steve, and yes, there is a lot in that WikiLeaks dump, including the fact that it's clear that the Clinton team vastly underestimated how much controversy the email server issue was going to be. But also, there was a nugget in there for Detroiters as a campaign aide emailed a campaign manager, John Podesta, to tell him to make sure that he got by Lafayette Coney Island on his next visit to Detroit for two Coney's with everything. Uh, ahead here at 6 o'clock, we're going to give you a first look at our exclusive Local 4 presidential poll. There are some surprises in the numbers, including who Michigan voters believe won the second debate by a landslide. Make sure you're with us tonight for Local 4 News at 6. Kim.